This is a news update for Info Live TV, June 6th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. Forty years since the outbreak of the Six Days War, these are the sights and sounds of the paratroopers as they break through the old city and reach the Western Wall. <laughs> Prime Minister Hood Olmert told the Security Cabinet Wednesday that Israel is interested in peace with Syria, not war, and is acting on various diplomatic channels in order to deliver the message to Damascus. We must avoid miscalculations that are liable to lead to a security deterioration, Olmert said. At the Palestinians' request, a meeting scheduled between Prime Minister Ehud Olmert and PA President Mahmoud Abbas has been cancelled due to a disagreement over Israel's release of Palestinian taxes. Two Qassam rockets were fired at the western Negev today. No one was wounded. Earlier, a barrage of eight mortar shells landed in Kibbutz Nachaloz and the Erez crossing. No one was wounded in either attack. The Lebanese army seized a truckload of Grad missiles and machine guns belonging to Hezbollah at a random checkpoint near Baal Bek. Six members of Hezbollah were set free after their weapons were confiscated. Prices for luxury real estate in Israel are soaring through the roof. A duplex in the Tel Aviv U project was sold to an Israeli businessman for $13 million. Lev Levayev, owner of Africa Israel, is at the top of Israel's 500 richest list, compiled by the financial magazine The Marka. Levayev is estimated to be worth between 6 to $6.5 billion. Israel must defeat Andorra tonight if it wants to advance to the Euro 2008 qualifiers. Andorra has lost all six of its Euro 2008 qualifiers to date. The match will be broadcasted live tonight. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, the diary of Ruth Kalaskia, a young Jewish girl who perished in Auschwitz. And three residents of the Golan who fought in the Six Days War reminisce. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.